Informatics, developing a deeper understanding of data. So informatics is the study and practice of creating, storing and using data to generate meaningful information. It combines disciplines such as computer science, information technology and data science to manage and analyze vast amounts of data. So we're looking at these big data sets and we are trying to extract information, meaningful information from these data sets, okay, which is a foundation of many fields in order to produce meaningful information that guides their decision making through finding trends and insights. By applying informatics, enterprises and researchers can make sense of complex data sets, helping them make informed decisions and solve problems more efficiently. Informatics is essential in various fields, including healthcare, business, and scientific research, as it facilitates the transformation of raw data into valuable insights. So what we've got to understand about today's society is there is a lot of data. We can extract data from many different elements related to an enterprise, okay, in a raw format. Okay, we are very data rich these days, but what we've got to do is convert it into formats that are meaningful in order to obtain these valuable insights. And that's what informatics is all about. So what we'll do is look at a variety of features related to informatics. And the first one is that of data organization. Informatics helps structure and categorize data, making it easier to interpret. Using databases, schemas, and data models, large data sets can be organized, allowing for faster access and analysis. So just by the way we structure data, or as we said here, organize data, it can make it more meaningful to read and thus comprehend. The second area is that of data integration. Data from different sources can be integrated and combined. This allows analysts to incorporate various data types, including structured, unstructured, qualitative and quantitative formats. So using data obtained from different locations, from primary and secondary sources, and a variety of interfaces through technology, all to come into centralized locations and be used together in conjunction with each other. Okay, in the past, there have been great compatibility issues but now with the state of technology and obviously smarter technologies that are around they can be integrated together and combined all these different data types and formats so that they can be used with each other for deeper analysis the third area is that of analytics through tools like machine learning statistical models and data mining techniques okay we can uncover hidden patterns okay so the way that we actually look at the data okay it produces things such as visualizations, which we'll get into with the next point, okay? And specific ways that we uh, see the data can help us find patterns that might not have been visible in the raw format, okay? So it is about looking at data through different perspectives, which is available through analytical tools, okay? This can help us find things such as correlations and trends in the data. Okay, the deeper insights allow for predictive analytics and informed decision making. Okay, and that's the, the idea as well with these informatics too. If we can look at a vast amount of historical data, can we then predict the future? All right, and if we can predict the future, then we can check how our investments should go, whether they be financial investments, investments in infrastructure and technology, or in our workforce, we can plan ahead Okay, and hopefully lead to successful solutions for our enterprise. The fourth category, as said just before, is data visualization. The transformation of complex data into visual formats like charts, graphs, and dashboards. This enhances understanding by making trends and patterns clearer, making key insights visually identifiable. So by transforming data, and as said, when we analyze it into a more visual format, it makes it easier to see. Now, this can support myself as the analyst in just picking up on the actual insights and trends that are happening with data, but it can also allow me to go to stakeholders and make proposals about business choices, about what we should do okay when meeting with investors or clients okay this is the pathway we should go because i actually have a visualization that supports our actual plan or what we wish to do that is based on historical informatics okay data from the systems okay so turning uh data into a visualization and to use the old cliche saying a picture tells a thousand words can really support what a business should do in relation to their forward planning 
And then the final category is that of decision making. By refining and processing data, informatics aid in producing accurate and relevant information, leading to more reliable and informed decision making across sectors that are making use of enterprise systems. All right, so having systems that make use of informatics, it greatly benefits the enterprise, okay? Because we are bringing all our data, as I said, we're very data rich these days. We're bringing it in into our system. It's chewing up that data. It's converting that data and creating meaningful visualizations that will support decision making for our business and hopefully as said okay through the use of analytical tools can help them with their goal setting and future planning and lead enterprises to success so i hope this video has given you an understanding of these features in the context of informatics and how they greatly support enterprises